Hi there YouTube, today I want to show you a larger scale model steam locomotive. I bought the second hand um, basically to help the guys with their sound because I spoke to the guys at the Model Train Expo at the George Transp Transport Museum two weeks ago um, and uh, they saw my HO scale layout and heard the sounds I do and all that and they want me to assist them with the larger scale sound for, for the larger scale trains. So this is going to be my guinea pig loco. Um, this is based on an American consolidation 280 a narrow gauge locomotive. Um, the prototype runs on three foot gauge in America. It used to be the narrow gauge rails. Uh, this model is running on 45 millimeter gauge. Uh, it's a, it's this proper model, um, scale model, is built to 1 slash 20.3 scale. So it's 1 in 20.3 scale. Um, it's got all the detail. Uh, the old type light, headlight, coupler lift bars, knuckle coupler. The smoke box door even opens. And there you have your switches for your polarity and your smoke unit. This comes installed with the smoke unit but it's a normal continuous smoker. When I install a sound decoder, I'm going to try and put a dynamic smoker in so we can adjust the, the, the puffs of smoke and steam with the sound and the intensity of the load and that. Um, you've got your cylinders and rods, or baker's valve gear, um, counterbalancing weights on the rods, on the, on the pivot points, um, obviously on the axle, uh, but it's called an inside frame locomotive to accommodate the narrow gauge so we've got the wheels on the inside of the frame and all your detail for the bell I can ring the bell using the cable um, I've got the regulators also got linkage um, the steam dome with all the detail sanding dome whistle all the detail um, that side and yeah these are driver hanging out the window a little bit and inside the cab i don't know if i can focus here um it's quite a lot of detail the doors to the walkway open and close and then there we have all the back end detail levers gauges firebox door apparently i'll close the firebox door quickly um apparently there's a glow in the firebox when, obviously, when the correct voltage is applied. Um, it's like a flicker, they use LEDs, but I, I'm not able to see that. Um, right, let me get this guy out here for scale. He has the lazy f fireman. Uh, is he actually, I think he's intoxicated. He's not even standing. Okay, we'll lean him against the locomotive. It's his day off. Um, yeah, and then the tender has got all the bogey detail. There's a 1 in 24 scale car, which is slightly small, um, smaller scale. Let me actually just get rid of that. And there we have the coal load, toolboxes open, and water hatch that does, that's meant to open, but it came off, so I just glued it down. The hinges don't really work. Rear light. If, um, sorry, there, that guy's fallen over again. He's really intoxicated. Um, rear detail might be a bit dark there I can't get further away um, the rear light obviously works there's apparently cab lights as well um, but all that I will tend to when we install a digital decoder um, it just makes it more fun to control the individual items um, but very nice locomotive all the detail that I like is the different rivets they use um, on the tender and on the body and um, the boiler's got your, your lines and your um, separately applied piping and fell, uh, and, and hand railings. And um, no, it's, it's actually a very good model. I think it's really something I should look after and keep for life and, and really use to set up and in, install and fine tune sound because you can get massive sound. Um, I think I can fit a, easily a four inch loudspeaker in this tender, which will give you quite good sound. But I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.